So this is Scooby. He is one of my young horses and he's going to be our uh, 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 initial companion uh, 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 for um, for Boston to see how he handles having a companion so obviously food is a pretty big pretty big um, thingy to protect for him so we'll give him a few minutes here and see how they make out Scooby's pretty low key he's um, not a dominant horse at all he probably I should have actually kept the food aside and made it that they had plenty of um, plenty of food each instead of just kind of taking a little bit off what was left and um, gave that to Scooby so see how they go with getting acquainted <laughs> So rather than put them over the fence with each other, which invariably seems to end up with leg wounds, uh, kicks through fences and that sort of thing, um, or striking, depending on the horse, what I've done here is just put the two of them in together and I'll keep an eye on them for a little bit so that I can intervene if I need to, if one of them is getting uh, over the top So this paddock is set up so that there are no sharp corners up this end so that if one horse does start to um, push the other one around 
they can get back out without um, without getting jammed into a um, a 90 degree corner or less. So the boys have had their first two introductions. They, um, Scooby's wandered off to do his thing, which is part of the reason that he's the horse that I've introduced here. He's kind of pretty self-sufficient and isn't very uh, clingy to other horses. So quite a good horse to um, to just be a paddock companion and hang out without needing to be all over him. If uh, that's not what Boston wants. So they've been in now probably a good 15 minutes or more. Probably heading up to 20 minutes now. And um, so they um, are sorting each other's space out. And um, Scooby is his usual respectful self to other horses. And um, Boston couldn't really care less.